We have a major issue. Three of our best players are injured right now. Kamara's out for six more months, barely two months, and also Douglas Louise. Luckily, the transfer window is open and we have 73 million to spend. You guys have your suggestions and we have a lot of players to look at who we could buy. Normally in January, we're limited to one signing. But because we have three injuries, we're going to make that three. With a game in hand, we're sixth in the league. After 20 games, we could go ahead of Manchester City if we win our next match. And I'd say the highest highlight from last episode is that our summer signing Martial has now started scoring goals. Check out what he did last episode. He slips it to Martial. He loves a goal versus Liverpool on its right. Oh, it's posting in. He's really put some power on that. To the right, Martial got a consolation. 3-2 Villa. This dude is saying, I think it's sick how you're keeping the Villa away, unlike Gerard. Well, we may be keeping the Villa away from about 50 years ago, but right now we're turning the club into European contenders. And I really would say in the most most positive thing about this crew mode so far is we're actually playing some good entertaining football. Even games where we lose to Liverpool 3-2. A 1-0 draw to Spurs, 0-0 draw to Arsenal, we're actually playing some good football. And to help us play even better, this dude is suggesting that we upgrade our attackers heading and volleying ability as we cross the ball in so much. Martial has 76 volley which is pretty good and his heading accuracy is 70. Which we could increase but right now we're focusing on his finishing. If we go to target, man. It will do both of them. So we'll just go with that. A transfer suggestion from this dude recommending that we go in and sign Hermoso because he is a good, strong defender. Of course, one of the positions we're looking at is center back and Hermoso is 27. He's definitely not slow. He is left footed and it probably cost around 30 million. But other shouts, we have Badashile, LaCroix, which is the main player we're looking at right now. Valued at 25. They're asking for 28 to 36. Or maybe even Pierre Kalulu, if you say his name. 22 to 28 million. This is currently how we're rocking right now. We don't have a CDM and the games we played without the CDM, we could notice we didn't have a CDM. We were struggling. We had to drop our depth back because teams were just getting in behind. We have to wait another six months until Kamara's back and another two until Douglas Lewis is back. So my suggestion is that we go in for a center back who's above 80 rated, who is in the 30s quite comfortably and maybe sign them on a one-year deal. Game from Evident is valued at 13 million. Starts off at 82 overall, I'm pretty sure. But a better option would be Fernando. Starts off at Sevilla. Let's just forget that he's, he's gone to inner. But he's 35, 83 rated. Probably would cost like 6 million. And we'd sign this guy in just a one year contract. Gonna go in 5.8 million. 10% selling clause. They want Chambers. Then we'll boost that up to 6 million. They want 6.9. Of course we can afford this guy. I just want to get an A. 6.3, that should be a B. So he's a rotation player. He wants crucial. And okay, we'll drop that down to important. Oh, oh, okay. He wants crucial. He is aware that they're injured. One year deal. That's all we want. He says yes to that. And as it's only a one year deal, we're going to give him 80k. The 100k signing on bonus because he's not a long term contract and he needs to be convinced to actually come here. And there he is in the shirt, number 19. That's our first signing here in January. And that is a B. As I said, 6.3 million is a good price for an 83 overall player. We'll improve that week. But he's Brazilian, so he has that connection with Diego Carlos, Philippe Coutinho, and the other CDM, Douglas Luiz. We're going to play so much better now we have his CDM again. At 65 pace, he's not really slow. He's defensively solid, physically solid. He can play center back as well. So you never know when the others come back. We could convert him there if we need him at center back. But as I said, we have been playing really, really good football with this side. I feel defensively, that is our strength, and that's why we're playing well. Going forward, we've been a bit average a lot of the time. But Bednarek got recalled by Southampton last episode, so we're short of one more center back. And this Swedish left back from Severe also got recalled. The suggestions for backup right back could be Sessignon from Spurs. He's a left wing back and he's English. But my suggestion is that in the summer window, we're actually going for this guy. It says he's at Spurs here, but he is actually on loan, so we can't go in for him now. If you know anything about him, this year he has 89 potential. Dinier is 29. He's 83 overall. I don't know if he's going to be here the whole save. I feel it's probably a good idea we have a good solid backup like that guy from Spurs. But for that center back we're looking at, it's kind of between two players. Kalulu from Milan and LaCroix from Wolfsburg. And I think I'm leaning toward LaCroix to be fair. Basically just going to offer valuation here. 25 million, 13% salon clause. You might as well accept that. That's a really good offer. He understands his rotation. Let's try and get him down on a five-year deal. 
deal. He says yes to that. 50k a week, 100k signing on bonus. He says yes. We've signed a new center back. And he might actually be the quickest center back in FIFA 23. I'm expecting a B minimum here. And we do get another B. That's pretty good. Our defense has been good, but now it has some serious competition. I mean, Conta's not slow with 78 pay, 76 for Carlos, and now 87 with LaCroix. I'm so excited to use this guy. We have Brighton away now in the Premier League. Expecting three points, a 4-1 win. Tell you what, we smash teams when we sim. Coutinho and Martial, both with a brace. We actually find ourselves in a semi-final of the Cabo Cup. Of course, it's two legs. We'll sim the first. Let's see if we've got business in the second. LaCroix is going to start this game. His first game, still a strong side, but we should be getting a win here. West Ham, they are good. A 3-1 win. Watkins with a brace. Williams with a goal. Burnley have made a two-year loan offer for Sean James. He's 18. He's 65 overall. To be fair, it looks like he has stats off a left winger. So we'll convert him to that. See if he goes up more in rating. So therefore, we'll reject that. We have Blackpool in the FA Cup now. All these cup games. Tell you what, Fernando's going to be playing a lot until Douglas or Kamara get back. It's a 2 all draw. Martial with a goal from the left. And Jacob Ramsey, there'll be a replay. We'll go a little stronger for this replay, though. We'll play LaCroix still. And Sanson in the middle should be a win. 3 now. Martial, Cash, and Dinier. We have Fulham up next in the league. And to be fair, we have some tired players. Watkins is starting. Same as Ramsey. Carlos is tired. I don't want to really play Chambers. And LaCroix is more tired. Away from home, expecting at least a point. It's a 4-1 win. Jones with a goal, by the way. That's 65-rated youth player. Watkins with a brace. And Williams Jr. We're currently fifth in the league. And with four points away from Spurs, who are in the top four. And next game is against Newcastle. They're only six points behind us. And this Fernando has been absolutely massive. I don't think we've lost or drawn a game since he's played. Oh, it's a good counter-attack. Oh, that would have been an incredible start for Isaac and Newcastle. Outside of his boot there. To be fair, we don't take advantage of that enough. Oh, that's a tackle there by Digne. Got a corner here. We'll go short to Coutinho. Can we try and get one in the box? Or maybe go shoot on his left. Got to hit one. What a good effort by Coutinho there. I thought that went in. Oh, it's a chance. Nope. Well, look, what a save Martinez. He's some maximum trippy. Ah, oh, what a save Martinez. He wasn't offside as well. That was a massive chance for Villa right there. Oh, he's not cleared. Isaac hits it over the bar. Tell you what, this is a cagey game. Is Isaac on the ball? Good save again, Martinez. Newcastle are starting to build momentum and we're falling away. Here's Maddie Cash coming forward. A ball there and behind to Martial. We've got someone back post Williams. Can he actually get there though? Oh, it's just too ahead of him. Here comes Will. Oh, wow. He's got all this pace. He's definitely gonna beat Trippier here. Still Williams. He could win it. Onto his right. Good dribbling. Oh, he's gone and smashed it over the bar. What a big opportunity that was. Here comes Cash. Now Coutinho. We've got Martial in behind. This is what we've got him for. Martial. How on earth has he bottled that? First touch needs to be better. You need to be releasing it earlier. We should have had three points there. Next round of the FA Cup is against Stoke. And we do have some tired players to tell you that. We're really gonna have to risk this here. We're starting players who are tired like Williams and Fernando. That'd be the worst thing ever if he were to get injured. He would have just bored him. And we lose to what? To Stoke. To Stoke City. That's absolutely awful. We're out the FA Cup. But we do have a good opportunity to get to a Carabao Cup final here. And again, we're going to have to rotate a fair bit. We'll get gold at right winger there. But we have a two goal advantage. We lose 1-0, but that's fine. We are in the final. We're still fifth. However, we're now six points away from Spurs and four. We're level on points with City in six. And one point clear from seventh. It's going to be extremely hard to get top four. But of course, the goal is to get Europa League football, so we are on track. We do have Man United now, and we did get smashed by them 2-0 last episode. Don't really know what to do from this. Free kicks are just absolutely useless. Man United are playing both Gea and Tio Hernandez. To be fair, I'm not too sure how they're doing that. It's Cristiano Ronaldo. Gea on the ball. Ronaldo! What a save, Martinez. Still alive. Matomini! Never save, Martinez. Maddie Cash is found Buende. Williams is making the run. Can he beat the defender? Takes the nope. shot. What a save to Hayer. He did so well there, to be fair. Give credit to him. It's Coutinho. Oh, oh, the Brazilian came out there. We have a chance here with Coutinho. To be fair, I feel we should get a left-footed player on this and do the outside-the-foot shot, as you guys have been talking about. Just put a load of power on it and see what we can get going here. That's not bad by Dinier. How do you get the power and height? Here's Dinier. Pratesi. 
out wide to Williams. Oh, this is fantastic play here. All oh, those are balls to be played out wide there to Cash. Now number 19 or Coutinho. The overlap. Martial. Digne. Back to Martial. On his nope. left. Oh, what a save to Haya. Best moment of play of the game. Coutinho short from the corner. Oh, he's done him there on his left. Crosses one in. Has to be the goal. Number 19. It's the new signing. Fernando with the goal. Villa are in the lead. Fantastic bit of play by Coutinho. The assist was on a plate. Or put on the plate for the goal. Look at that. No chances missing. 1-0 Villa. He's Sancho short from the corner. Oh, trying to build it up. Oh, Martinez. He just is absolutely incredible. He's one of the best keepers you can use in career mode. Don't know if it's the same for... Oh, number team Ronaldo got on clearance. It's a handball. There was a handball in there. Let's check out what actually happened here. Corner came in. Ronaldo wins the header. And the goal line clearance... Ooh, came off his arm. Yeah, yeah, you have, you have to be given that. Martinez, I was just praising you. Go to the left. Nope. Oh, what a save. Emiel Martinez. Cristiano Ronaldo. Head in the ground. Nine minutes. Can United get that point? What a massive opportunity missed by Cristiano Ronaldo there. Another corner whipped in. That was on a plate for Ronaldo again. Nerve-wracking stuff. Can we get that second goal? Over the top to Williams. Now looking in behind for Martial. Can he score against his former club? On his left, it's 2-0. It's 2-0 Villa. We've won it late on. I don't know how to do the celebration where you put your hands up. It looks like Martial's embracing it and going absolutely wild. I'll tell you what, last episode, they completely outplayed us. We haven't quite done that to them today, but we sure have played well. Defensively solid. Took us a while to get into the game going forward, but that is the three points. In the Carabao Cup final, by the way, we're facing Tottenham. Of course, they're a position above us in the league, but both sides really need a trophy. We have Brentford away up next in the Premier League. Should be three points. It's a 3-2 win in the last minute. Coutinho, Buendia, and Buendia. Bailey is now coming back from injury. We'll put Put him on the bench. He's got zero sharpness. Gonna have to try and win him back in. We now have Southampton at home. And next game is that final versus Spurs. It's a 1-0 draw. Buendia with a goal. To be fair, Bailey's gonna have to work his way back in. Because Buendia's doing really well on the right-hand side. Of course, Villa did find themselves in a Carabao Cup final a couple of seasons back. They were playing Man City. And of course, that didn't go very well. Douglas Suiz is on his way back as well. Him and Kamara have gone down one overall. Tell you what, that is unfortunate. But we've got a full strength side here. And there's no need to make any rotations. We have been playing well against big teams this year. I think last episode when we played Spurs, we did get a point. We're very good defensively, but going forward, we can be very toothless. Oh, that's a bad pass there by Spurs. Dinia finds Fratesi. Now Coutinho. Oh, I've just hit one there. Easy save, Lloris. His count slips it in behind for Son there. Carlos. You know, he's playing like he's going to make it in the team of the year. He's just played so well. Same as Martinez. Is Williams finds Martial. Ah, just tackled in the final third. This is a bit cagey early on. That first half went so quick. The amount of times we win this competition on penalties is just crazy. So he might actually do that. It's Coutinho out wide to Williams. That's dreadful. Here's Kulusevski coming forward for Spurs. Now Basuma on the ball. So there's the goal. Nope. Come on, Martinez. What a save. You know, it's so hard to score goals against this defense. Here's Kulusevski. Harry Kane. What a save, Martinez. Son keeps it alive. Here's Sessiong. Spurs are starting to get into this now. Here's Son. Come on. Come on, Konza. What a bit of defense there. We can come away with the ball as well. Martial. Just keep hold of this ball. Take a breather. Whilst actually trying to get forward. Buendia to cash. Now Buendia. This is good counterattack. Just dispossess. Spurs are signs play well. We've got 15 minutes left. And anything right now could really happen in this game. Here's Richarlison. Some fresh legs on the pitch there for Spurs. Here's Richarlison. Basuma. Harry Kane. Oh. Oh, it's painful. It's so bad. Harry Kane with a goal. And to be fair, the finish was class. Spurs think they've won it. We've got about two minutes to play. They probably have to be fair. Look at that. It's just class by Harry Kane. Right. Williams has got the ball here. Coming for. Come on, Martial. Get in the box. Last opportunity. Here's Williams. Just go straight into them. Dribble straight into them. That's it. Spurs win a trophy. First for them since 2008. We're still waiting. Our last was in 1996. We're still Still fifth, but we're now three points away from top four. Our next game is Wolverhampton, and they're tenth place. And they're ten points behind us, to be fair. We'll try and get Bailey involved in this game. He's got zero sharpness, but let's just throw him in there and see what he does.
Perez. First opportunity comes to us. Coutinho. Fernando. Oh, there's a gap there for Williams. Johnny with the interception. Now, a free kick like this. Surely we have to be scoring. Don't really know how far out to aim. I don't think we've put enough power on that. Coutinho over the wall. Doesn't have enough power. Oh, here comes Wolverhampton. They could slip in. Guedes there. Adama. Nice bit of passing. Still Adama Traore. Oh. Williams is making a good run. He'll put that up to Martial. Now at your box. Coutinho on his left. Hits one. Big save. Jose Sa. And that's it. That's the 90 minutes. And it's a point. A nil-nil. Both teams with some good opportunities. But both defended well. Right, Everton up next. They're only on 27 points. They have not had a great season so far. And it's a 3-2 win away from home. Williams with a brace and Buendia. But we're still fifth spot. Manchester City are really not having a good season, by the way. They're seventh place. They are four points behind us. And our very next game is City at the Etihad. And this should be a very, very interesting challenge. Because, of course, they're really not playing well. Bailey has seven sharpness, but he has 92 pace. Really don't find Buendia effective when we use him. So we're just going to have to go with Bailey. Of course, no game against City is going to be an easy one. That is a ball there. Here's Williams on his left. Hammers it. Easy save there for Edison. Oh, Williams. You know, he's matured so much since signing him. He really is a good talent. And, and he only cost like 8 million, to be fair. 8.3, whatever it was. Here's an opportunity for Mares. Bernardo Silva, top left-hand corner. And there we go. Here comes the quality that is going to shine through only when we play them. Any other game, they're playing like the seventh. They play us, and then all these players start showing up. Oh, no. What are we doing? Playing it out the back there. We're 2-0 down. It's just ridiculous. What is Martinez doing there? He comes to him, and he just chips it. I, I hammered it out. And then Maros with that opportunity to the left of the keeper. 2-0 City. Here's Coutinho coming forward. We've got Dinier out wide. Here's a shooting position. Smash it on his left. That's a goal back for Villa. That is a much-needed goal. And that is a very good assist by Coutinho. Very aware. Dinier continued the run, and the finish, of course, was very good. Oh, it's 3-1 City. Start of the second half. Pellegrini with the goal. This is what I didn't want to happen. Look at that defending. That is absolutely awful. Where is Konza? I don't know why the other defender, Carlos, got dragged out that wide. Now Cash, cross it in. Fantastic nope. stuff there. Straight down the middle. What an opportunity that was. Oh, no. What has Konza just done? Foda makes it 4-1 City. Dreadful mistake at the back. This is going horrible wrong. Look at that by Konza there. What's he doing? What are you doing? Oh, that's a ball in for Haaland. This could be five. This is embarrassing. What a save, Martinez. Oh, it's five. The fifth was coming. City are playing like they're top of the league. If they're seventh, why don't they play like they're seventh? I think my biggest question is why are they seventh? They should be top of the league. It's after 29 games with fifth place and we find ourselves eight points away from top four. Yeah, Champions League isn't happening. We knew that anyway. Europa League is very, very good. Douglas Luiz is back from injury now. Camaro will probably be back next episode. You can see 79 overall. To be fair, in the summer, we could look at getting rid of Coutinho. He hasn't done that good this season. And Buendia, to be fair, probably would be more beneficial in this position. He does get a plus for that. And his stats are very good for a camp. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Leeds is our very next game. We need a win in this. That will be next episode, the season finale. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe on the screen. There should be a link to my second channel.